this crisis that we all now recognize did not happen uh, in an instant. It developed over time. And uh, when I was uh, a congressman representing a poor Appalachian district, uh, I became aware of certain things that were happening in my district. For example, I get a call from some business people at this little strip mall in my hometown of Lucasville, Ohio. And they said, something's going on with these doctors that are located in our strip mall. Our, our customers can't find a place to park. So I go there on a, on a weekend and I look in the window and I see a handwritten sign taped to the wall that says all doctor's visits, $75 cash. They wouldn't take credit cards. They wouldn't take insurance. They only took cash. And I had one of my staff go to the, the fast food restaurant right across the street. And I said, go there and, and just watch and see what's happening. And she called me and she said, Ted, she said, young people are coming out of there, giving each other the high five, waving their prescriptions. And that group of physicians were there for a few weeks and then they moved to Chillicothe, Ohio. I went there, looked in the window, the same thing. They were there for a few weeks, then they went to Lawrence County, Ohio, and they set up shop in a, in a broken down former bar. And I went to the sheriff in that county and he said to me, Congressman, we had a young man who injected himself in the groin and died before he pulled his pants up. He said, this is going to be dealt with one way or the other. And a couple of weeks after that, that place burned to the ground. So then those doctors went to Jackson, Ohio. I'm not exaggerating. This happened. And um, I called the, the Ohio Medical Association. And they said to me initially, Congressman, we can't tell our doctors how to practice medicine. And I said, give me a break. I, I was a psychologist. There are standards of care. I called the FBI. The FBI asked that I not inform any local law enforcement about what was going on. The bottom line is that this problem was developing. We, we, there were pill mills all over my congressional district, uh, opioid um, uh, abuse was so prevalent. And I'm glad it's now recognized, but it took it a long, long time. 